What's up guys, it's Jason with MP3D, and today, as you can see, we're gonna talk a little serious. Let's do this. Two thousand eighteen is quickly, and I mean quickly, coming to an end. It's almost Christmas time, and it's got me thinking about my channel, YouTube, numbers, and I guess the future of my channel. So many of you, like myself, smaller channels have not reached monetization this year. Some of you probably done amazingly well. I think I've done pretty well this year. However, I don't think I'm going to reach my goal for monetization. Um, if you know how the new YouTube parameters work, you have to have over 250,000 minutes watched and you have to have 1,000 subscribers. Now, I'm at about 520 subscribers and about 220,000 minutes watched. And yes, I'm so close and I'm so competitive that I'm so frustrated. I'm not frustrated with YouTube. I'm frustrated with just the fact that I'm just so close. And then it's got me thinking, do those numbers reset? Does anybody know? I'm not talking about the subscriber count, but like, do your minutes watched reset or do those just keep continuing? So if anybody knows that information, hey, put it in the comments down below. Then it's got me thinking about my channel in the future, okay? I do a lot of photography. I do a lot of 3D printing. I do a lot of reviews and unboxings and things like that. And this got me thinking about the future of my channel and where I want it to go and how do I reach a larger audience. And probably a lot of you guys have the same questions I have as, you know, what are we doing wrong? What do we need to do better? Are we doing plenty? And maybe we're just not uh, promoting our channels enough. So most of us have Instagrams and Twitters and things like that. We put that out there. We let people know when we got a new video out. and. I won't say that you get disheartened, but sometimes it's frustrating when you spend a lot of time editing a video and you don't get but about 25, 30 views. I guess for the 2019 year, I'm excited about the growth that I do plan on experiencing because I'm such a positive person. I know that if you put in good work, that good things are gonna come out of it. And so I guess I don't wanna focus on the numbers so much. Yes, it's frustrating. Yes, I wish it wasn't the way it is, but I think YouTube did what they felt was best for their advertisers. I'm someone who wants to talk about photography, but I'm also someone who does 3D printing as one of my hobbies that I really love putting videos out for. But then I also love gadgets and toys and collectibles and things like that. So I don't know, for the 2019 year, I'm thinking about rebranding my channel a little bit. I'm not sure. Do I rebrand it? Or do I keep it like it is and just present new content? Because I guess that's where I'm at. Do I scare subscribers away when I put new content out there? It's always hard to see your subscriber numbers drop. And I know that that's something you shouldn't look at often, but I do look at it just because I'm competitive and I want to see that grow. But I guess I want to see that number increase. I want to hit a larger audience. And so I guess for 2019, I really want to focus on creating content that's going to be impactful, creating content that's uh, fun to watch, content that, you know, is something that people would want to subscribe and watch. So, you know, like a lot of you guys, I just have to sit down and think about what it is that I want to talk about, what I'm great at, and that, for me, is the problem. I'm not necessarily amazing at anything, but I love a lot of things. Um, you know, I feel like I'm pretty accomplished as far as a photographer. <laughs> now, to say there's a ton of people out there better than me would be very true. But, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's definitely a niche of mine. But I don't want to focus on photography completely because that gets boring. Um, I also don't want to just focus on 3D printing because that gets boring. I want to do a lot of things. Um, toys and collectibles and gadgets and gear and outdoor equipment and 
outdoor things that I'm doing, whether it's cooking outdoors or camping, I want to throw a lot of things at my viewers. So I don't know, should I rebrand? I don't know, I guess that's one of those things that I'm questioning. Do I change the name of my channel? Even though people already find me under this channel, I don't know. That's probably <laughs> some of the same questions you guys have. But um, I don't know, I guess that's the frustrations as a smaller channel. You know, when you get large, you're good to go. You don't think about these things. But I guess I'm always thinking about, is it my name? Is it my whatever? Is that the problem? And I'm sure it's the content. It just doesn't reach everybody. Um, but that's the things that I'm thinking about for 2019. I'm going to be doing another video uh, after the new year and just looking into the future as to what I want my channel to be for the entire 2019 year. But I guess the cool thing is that, you know, I'm growing. Uh, I just started this year with this YouTube channel and I already have 520 something amazing subscribers. I know it's going to grow. And I guess I'm just impatient. I, that's all I can say is I'm a little impatient. Uh, but maybe you guys have some of the same concerns and frustrations and we can talk about it here. But uh, I guess that's some of the things I'm thinking about. Now that 2018 is coming to an end, I want to create content that's impactful in a positive way for YouTube, uh, whether it's making money or not. I, I'm not really concerned with that. I just want to be, I want to put things out there that, that that's memorable. I want to put things out there that people appreciate seeing. I don't know. I just want to get on here and talk about the kind of the frustrations and the struggles that I'm feeling right now with 2018 ending because it's been an amazing year, but I feel like I'm, I'm left lacking. I don't know. I feel like there's so much more I wanted to do. And so I don't know, I, but that's got me hungry. I'm so hungry for 2019. And so I'm excited to where my life and my channel is going to go. But uh, I just love it. I love the grind. I love I love going on there and seeing new new subscribers and seeing new viewers and people commenting. I love it. Even when it's a negative comment, I embrace it. Because, you know, a person who com comments negatively is at least somebody that's watched your content. So, you know, it can never be necessarily bad. I don't like trolls. Nobody does. But uh, they're necessary. Sometimes it helps you check yourself a little bit. So I have some major goals, some things that I want to do for 2019, but I'm looking forward to it. Hope you guys are looking forward to and planning for the 2019 year, things that you want to do with your channel, either differently or better. That's all I have to say tonight. Really, I know it's not normal for me to talk serious, but I appreciate you guys watching. If you've not subscribed to my channel and you'd like to do so, do that and then hit that little notification bell so you get reminders or you get notifications when I put new content out. But I hope you guys have a great Christmas, great holiday next couple of weeks. And uh, just remember, we live in a world that has endless, endless opportunities. You just have to reach out and try your best to achieve the best you can do. And don't worry about the rest. Anyway, have a great night and uh, we'll talk to you soon.